What, what is an entrepreneur? Well, an entrepreneur is basically the extrapolation of an artist into entrepreneurship. And it's my particular point of view that artists are, by their very nature, entrepreneurs. Hi, my name is Thomas Mann, and I'm a professional artist uh, celebrating my 52nd year as a self-employed entrepreneurial artist. And I live and work here in New Orleans, and I love what I do. My artistic career really began as a child. My fabulous mom, Charlotte, uh, recognized that I had some sort of talent because I was drawing all the time. And she enrolled me in Saturday art classes at the Baum School of Art in Allentown, Pennsylvania, where I had my first introduction to painting. When I discovered jewelry making in high school in 1963 from a student teacher in one of my high school art classes, I quickly developed an interest in making jewelry because I discovered the connection between jewelry, money, and girls. I would say that the principal inspiration I've had throughout my career that has contributed to the design vocabulary that I am known for, which is called techno-romantic, techno-romantic jewelry objects, basically are whole world, primitive culture, current cultures, iconography, history, all of those things combined into the development and the extrapolation of a personal design style. That's always in the background feeding what I do. Yeah, we're, we're happy to be on this particular uh, corner of uh, uh, Chop and uh, Magazine because uh, a lot of people like you are going, what's in there? Yeah. What's in there? What's 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 going on in there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, right. so thanks so much. And his role in the crafts movement is huge. The interesting thing about Tom, one one of the one of the principal threads in improvisation since antiquity, is that it takes valueless things and makes valuable. It's, um, the French word is bricoleur, we say tinkerer. He takes old things, puts them together with things that he's fashioned that are meant to look like they were also old things, and creates something new. And that's, you know, ravishing. I feel like I'm on a personal artistic mission to constantly imbibing the work with the kind of energy that people witness, recognize, salute, and purchase. I think the first piece I bought must have been a, a brooch, actually. I really love Tom's brooches. In fact, this is a Tom Man brooch, and um, they're wonderful conversation pieces, and um, they're delightful and whimsical and um, wonderful sort of um, uh, beginnings of conversations. As you know, New Orleans is one of those cities that is living in lots of different centuries all at the same time. Um, it's living the life that we see in front of us. There's the spiritual life of the city. There, the dead and the, the living live together. We, we exist, we coexist together. And for some reason, I think that Tom's jewelry in many ways um, is an embodiment of that. You see images of uh, faces, for instance, in the jewelry of people who, who've lived long ago, but who for some reason have a spiritual um, connection to whoever's wearing that piece for instance you have these sort of amalgamations of um, very current and sleek you know metals but at the same time you have this uh, you'll have wood or you'll have some other type of resin for instance or you'll have some stone some piece of glass for instance that uh, was discovered you know from a Roman ruin site somewhere in Europe it's really you know just lovely to see the little surprises that are in each 
each piece and um, this idea of the past and the present together you know that are sort of bound by the soul um, perhaps initially Tom's soul but then once you purchase it once you wear it then somehow your soul intermingles with it I'm currently working with a, um, a group uh, and, the, and the leader of the group who are determined to put uh, artistic know-how back in uh, high school programs. And what Tom does is, being a jeweler, a craftsman, and a man of the arts, he possesses a skill that's very unique. They're excited over, look at what he made. Look at what he can do. I want to see him. I want to meet him. I think I can do that. In, in 1993, I had the opportunity to buy the building that we are in today, which is called the Rose Tattoo. That was the name of the bar that I used to attend here in New Orleans in the 70s. It closed in 82. I bought the building in 93 and I've converted it into basically Pee Wee's Funhouse, Tom's, Tom's artistic environment that to me is inspiring every time I look around the space and know that this is kind of my world. And it's an important part of how the world knows me because I live in, I live in my work. I live in the environment of my work all the time. He's a wild man, my kind of wild man. He's a lot of fun. He's um, got a lot to say, says it well, both in his art and in his narratives. There's a belief system in our culture that you can't really make a living as an artist. So I'm here to encourage people and to demonstrate and be an example for them that you can be successful, truly successful, uh, as an artist. 